Are you about to buy new Apple gear but you're not sure where to find the best deals? Today's your lucky day as I will rebroadcast episode 36 which originally aired on May 26, 2019 and covered 7 ways to get Apple gear for your business. It's part of what I retroactively called season 1 and I apologize in advance for the lower production quality. Quoting Pat Flynn, one of my virtual mentors, you've got to be cringe before they binge. Stick around till the end as I will talk about the contest that is currently taking place during the month of August. For now, let's jump into the DeLorean of Back to the Future. Let's punch in May 26, 2019 and enjoy a blast from the past. The first way to get Apple gear for your business is directly from Apple. In roughly 25 countries, they have a little bit more than 500 flagship Apple stores. If I look at uh, Wikipedia in the top five, obviously there is the US uh, number one with a little bit more than 270 stores. Then number two, China with a little bit more than 40 stores. Then we have the UK, Canada and Australia. They are only available in 25 countries. So if you're unlucky like me in Luxembourg to not have an Apple store, there is still an option to buy directly from Apple and it is through the online store. So from apple.com and then you can choose your country. Then you are able to buy Apple gear and also through the iOS app that you can download for your iPhone and your iPad. Just log in with your Apple ID and then you will be able to browse the uh, Apple Store catalog and order uh, your device. This is really great because it's uh, available uh, worldwide. A big advantage of buying directly from Apple is that you have the ability to pre-order devices. And I remember when the uh, iPhone 8 Plus was launched, I was able to pre-order it from my iPhone 6 at the time from the uh, Apple Store app on the iPhone. And so a week later, I had my new iPhone 8 Plus with the capacity that I wanted in the color that I wanted, just in time before doing a big trip to the US. Another advantage of buying directly from Apple is that you have the, the most customization options and also depending on the stock levels, it's one of the fastest delivery you can get. Another advantage, now we're talking about the, uh, the flagship stores, the brick and mortar stores, is that if you're not sure which device you, you need or you'd like to buy, you have the possibility to talk with very well-trained uh, Apple staff. So usually you will find in those stores the, the people who know the best the, uh, the Apple products. And so what well, among the best to, uh, to give you uh, an advice. You will hardly find deals. Apple doesn't do discount except for students and the education market. So on uh, new devices, you, you won't find flash sales, for instance. Apple doesn't do that. What you can find, but only for some countries, is that you could find refurbished items. So if you scroll down from the apple.com website, you might see a refurbished section and there you will be able to buy refurbished iPhones, iPads or Macs, obviously depending from the availability. So that's one way to get certified refurbished products at a low price. Next up, so number two to get Apple products is through an Apple premium reseller. They have been vetted by Apple and they get the same marketing material and devices as what they offer in flagship Apple Store. So it's, it's the closest you can get to a genuine Apple experience. In Luxembourg, for instance, we have an Apple premium reseller. And if you enter this kind of store, it's almost impossible to, to tell the difference between an Apple store and, and this one, except obviously that they have their own uh, outfits. And so, but when you look at the, the tables, the presentation of the products, when you have big pictures on the walls, this is almost the, the exact replica of a flagship Apple store. 
They can sell also third-party products, accessories, but they will not sell other computers or other smartphone manufacturers. You can get limited deals depending on the on the stock that they have, but usually they have very little inventory because as premium reseller, they actually order devices directly from Apple. So they tend to have a limited stock anyway. Like Apple, they will do discounts for the education market and for students. And you will also find discounts for accessories and other brands. You have the same customization options as when you go directly from Apple. But the delivery time will be slightly longer than with Apple because the devices will ship to the store and then you will have to go to the store to, to pick up the, the, the device. Uh, now, when you have the choice uh, between uh, different Apple premium resellers, I would say prefer one that is also an Apple authorized service provider because you will only have one shop to go to for both ordering or buying the device, but also for repairs. Next up, so number three, we now we have Apple authorized resellers. So the big difference with the premium resellers is that the authorized resellers are selling Apple products alongside many other brands. So many other computer or mobile devices. The disadvantage is that they have limited staff who really know about Apple products. They will have maybe one or two person maximum in the store and the Apple products will not be as well displayed as for Apple premium resellers or the flagship stores. You will have limited customization options, whatever they have in stock. This is what you, what you have to buy. The advantage is that usually they have more deals and also bigger deals than if you go with Apple or premium resellers. And the reason is they oftentimes need to get rid of old inventory. And this is the time you have to, to, to look for because this is when you have the opportunity to get maybe the last generation device at a very, very interesting price with a 20 to sometimes 30% uh, discounts, which you, you will never get uh, directly from Apple. They also sell uh, sometimes refurbished products. And again, when you can find those refurbished products, you will also get uh, substantial uh, uh, discounts as well. The thing is, very few Apple authorized resellers are also uh, Apple authorized service, service product provider. So you will need to find an Apple authorized service provider whenever you, you will have a, an issue or you need to get your, your device repaired. Okay, next up, number four, Amazon. So technically speaking, Amazon is an Apple authorized reseller, but it only sells online. And Amazon cut a deal with Apple last November, actually. And since that deal, only Apple authorized resellers can list Apple products on Amazon. This is a big change compared to, to previously. And the deal that Apple and Amazon have cut together is that actually Apple controls the way Apple products are displayed on Amazon. So Amazon is actually displaying material that is coming directly from Apple and that is very similar to what you see on the official Apple store. The biggest advantage of buying from Amazon is that they offer really great discounts and even on newly released products. So at the time of recording, the 2019 uh, MacBook Pro refresh uh, are out and Amazon is already giving deals on them. They did the same with the latest generation MacBook Airs uh, and the latest generation iMacs. When they were out, immediately Amazon was offering discounts on them. Now we, you have to pay attention because it's really, for me, it's the best option for devices that have limited to almost no customization uh, options. So the iPhone, where you only have the storage capacity, iPad as well, Apple Watch, Apple TV, AirPods. This is, for me, I think the best option to buy a device. 
Now for max, usually they sell the entry le level model with the lowest amount of RAM. And what you can configure is the processor and the hard drive. And sometimes you don't have the, the full set of configuration options as you would from the Apple Store. So pay attention, you might not be able to find on Amazon the device that you actually want with the memory that you want, with the hard drive that, that you want and so on. Now, if the device that you're looking for is in stock, it's as quick as Apple and it can even be quicker if you're an Amazon Prime customer. The big disadvantage, of course, of Amazon is that they do not offer any repair or service options. So the same way that for other Apple authorized resellers is that you will need to contact Apple directly if you have an Apple store nearby or you will need to find an Apple authorized service provider near you whenever you have a hardware problem with your device. Personally, I think that Apple is shooting itself in the foot by cutting this deal with Amazon because until then, for me, the options outside the premium resellers or the, the flagship stores, I, I would not have considered them. But now this is the first time that I'm actually really considering uh, buying almost exclusively from Amazon, looking at the deals that uh, Amazon uh, is offering. And also, we don't have the date yet, but sometimes mid-July, Amazon will have its prime day. It's a day where they do really uh, usually colossal uh, uh, discounts. And if you don't need an Apple device right now and you're, you're listening to this episode around the uh, July uh, period in 2019, then uh, I would say wait for Amazon Prime Day because you might actually find a really great offer from Amazon for an Apple product. Okay, number five, we cannot escape eBay eBay is a, is a major online platform like Amazon available worldwide. You can find in eBay new but also refurbished and uh, used devices. The advantage of eBay is that you have the ability to find much uh, less expensive devices. The thing is, it's much riskier as well than the other options. So pay very close attention to the seller uh, reputation. It's worth checking eBay, but in a business context, I would not recommend to, to buy from eBay. But still, I think it's important to know that it's a way to get Apple products. Next up, so number six, the classified section of your local newspaper, but you can also have dedicated websites. The most well-known, I would say, is a Craigslist, but there are also a lot of uh, local clones, I would say, of a uh, quick list everywhere. What you will get there is mostly used devices. It's very rare that you will find totally new devices still in their sealed box and so on. Uh, again, it's very risky, but it's worth checking, especially if you're not looking for a new device. And then number seven, the last one, and that's something that I think we tend to overlook and I, I'm, I've been overlooking it for a while. It's the leasing option. So rather than uh, buying a device for your business, you would sign a, a leasing contract. And the biggest advantage of the leasing option is that it offers better cash flow management. You only pay monthly. And that means that uh, you don't have to get a big sum of money out of your business to buy uh, devices. This is especially uh, interesting if you need to buy uh, multiple devices at once. Usually we're talking about a three years contract, so keep that in mind. A big advantage of the leasing option is that you have the possibility to upgrade your device at the end of the contract at no charge so you continue to pay your your monthly uh, fees and three years after having used a device boom you can get a new one another option is that you could buy at uh, obviously a very very small price the device that you leased and you can get it at the end the thing is if you calculate how much it will cost 
it will be more expensive than buying the, the device outright. But it usually includes support and maintenance. So the, the leasing contract, if you select a good one, should actually cover any repair, any maintenance. And also you should get phone support, email support, and sometimes even on-site support included in the price. If this is an option that you'd like to consider, look for a company that allows to customize the device as much as possible. Uh, sometimes you're locked, you cannot change the, the memory, you, can change, you cannot change the, the hard drive or the, the processor. But there are companies who give you many options and you can really fine-tune uh, the device that, that you want to lease. And also look in the contract whether when the Mac gets repaired that you get uh, a loan Mac in the meantime. So this is also very useful. So to summarize the seven ways to get Apple gear for your business. Number one, directly from Apple through a flagship store or the online store, which is available worldwide. Second, the Apple premium resellers who are the closest to the Apple genuine experience for countries or regions where there are no flagship store. And then there you can use Apple authorized resellers where you will find better deals, but also no customization options. One of such uh, authorized resellers is Amazon. It's a special case selling only online, but where you can get good deals and especially on new devices and then eBay classified ads and the leasing options. Before concluding this episode, there's one more thing I'd like to mention. If you're listening to this in August 2024, you have the chance to win a one-hour Mac coaching call with me worth $200. To participate in the prize draw, it's very simple. Rate and review Macpreneur in Apple Podcasts by visiting macpreneur.com forward slash review. This will direct you to the show page. Scroll down to the bottom where you will be able to rate and review the show. Take a screenshot and send it to me by email. The address is damien at macpreneur.com. You have until August 31st, 2024 at midnight Pacific time. Beginning of September, I will randomly select one of you and announce the winner. Once again, visit macpreneur.com for slash review. In the next episode, I will rebroadcast episode 45, which covered the three kinds of operating system updates on Apple Gear. So make sure to subscribe or follow this podcast to get it automatically next week. And until next time, I'm Damien Schroes, wishing you a great day. Thank you for watching the Macpreneur podcast. If you've enjoyed the show, please leave a comment and share it with a friend right now.